Yo dog, did I ever tell you that I have maple syrup urine disorder? It makes my pee smell like maple syrup. Ha ha. Yo homie, I heard about that before. My boy Tyreek has it too. Tell me about it young blood. Well some symptoms of it are that, like I told you, your urine smells like maple syrup. As a baby you can also detect it by seeing a loss of appetite and if you are abnormally fussy. Does it only occur in babies? Nah bro, it's a genetic disorder so you first detect the symptoms in babies, but if you're treated for it then you still will have it as an adult. Oh snap. So it's a genetic disorder? What genes and chromosomes are involved with it then homie? Dog. The most common way to obtain this disorder is from a mutation in chromosome 19 which decodes the alpha subunit B. C. K. D. Protein complex. This protein complex is used to break down the three amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. So if any of the proteins involved with the protein complex B. C. K. D. Has a mutation, then there will be an overflow of these amino acids in your blood system. This elevation in amino acids translates into your urine which makes it smell like maple syrup. Whoa homie, that's whack. So is this disorder inherited from your parents? And can you be treated for it? Or is you gonna die? Bro I ain't gonna die. What you thinking? But for real though, I'm able to go about my life normally just like you for the most part. And to answer your question, this disorder is inherited from your parents. In order to get it, you need to receive a defective copy of the gene from both parents. If both parents carry the gene then you have a 25% chance of getting the disorder and a 50% chance of being a carrier. And as far as treatment goes, if you are untreated within the first few months of infancy, you could have seizures, go into coma, and eventually die. For treatment with babies, they are given a special formula that lacks the amino acids leucine, isoleucine, and valine, so that they don't build up in the bloodstream because of the body's lack of ability to break these amino acids down. For grown-ups, like me, we have to watch what we eat, avoiding high-protein foods like meat, eggs, and nuts. So other than my diet and my sweet-scented urine, my life is almost completely normal. What if that doesn't help though? Are there any other treatments? If the diet doesn't help then there are other treatments. Other treatments involve an intravenous solution that is given through a vein that helps the body use up leucine, isoleucine, and valine for protein synthesis. Potentially, gene therapy could be used to cure this disorder in the future. They do this by replacing the defected gene with a good, working copy so that your body can generate its own B. C. K. D. Yo that's dope homie. We should go and tell people about this disorder. Yeah homie. Word. I know of a support group already. They call themselves the M. S. U. D. Family support group who spread awareness of my disorder. They hold conventions here in Philly. We could totally join them homie. Yeah homie. Wow, I've learned so much about maple syrup urine disorder today. Now I'm ready to go find a cure. Maybe I should go back to high school and get my doctorate degree in genetic disorders instead of cooling in my mom's basement all day. Ha 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 ha. Good one.